Welcome back. It is the weekend of our painting party. Yeah. And guess what? I'm wearing a hat. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are having a get together tomorrow. Yeah. But today we've got Jordan and Robbo here. Yep. So we thought we'll come here a day early and get a bit ahead of it because... We're getting prepped. Yeah. We're going to start doing a bit of work outside, a bit yeah. of scraping and stuff mm. like that. Getting every all the sheets down on the ground, all the pallets. I've got to pop out to Costco later and go and get some snacks. So it's just to the van. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy weekend, isn't it? <laughs> so just to oh, it's raining. Oh, it's always raining. I don't know. It's good to it. So me and Jordan are gonna start tackling the exhaust on the port sides of the boat. So we're gonna try and get it back to metal because it's absolutely disgusting. So it's Saturday today, obviously our painting party is tomorrow. So we're just trying to get as prepped as much as we can. Um, so yeah. So we've got my mum and dad. Hiya. So they're basically like scraping off the exhaust. Um, I've actually found some holes in the exhaust, I'm sure Gemma's already pointed out. But if you remember this this particular side of the boat we, we painted at our first painting party and then the rain come in, so we ended up, or the rain was coming in, so then we ended up just basically painting everything. So very early at the, at the um the the stern we, we got we removed a lot of the old paint but then you get us around gets around here then a lot of the old paint stayed on so after doing the starboard side uh, we removed all the paint and it's fantastic and that that paint has held that paint is really really well attached so the aim of the game really is to get all the original paints off so we can then get a really good key and a really good foundation to work from in the future. So I see Robbo now is working at the front and he's figured out that the blue swords works quite well in moderation. So let's go have a look to see what he's been doing eh? So we basically blow torched all up here and all down here and then scraped it and then sanded it. So it's been a fun day, hasn't it? So now we're basically still got bits of paint on. But we think now, well, we know now because we've done it over here. If we give this a good sand now, I guess it's actually beautiful. Really, really nice. So a really good key for all you've got to well. do now, how many, how many feet have you done? What? Oh, about, about, only about that much. Right, so you, got, yeah, you did all that, I only did one. That so you've got another 70 foot to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll check back with Robbo in a few days. <laughs> See you later, Robbo. Bye. This is actually painting party minus one, plus one, minus one. So we're just sort of trying to get ahead of the game. So my mum's been using paint stripper on the exhaust, isn't your mum? Better both. Paint stripper, scrapers, hammers. <laughs> just, just, Experiment. <laughs> yeah. It's got like it's about seven layers of a paint. lot of paint on the exhaust. So we're just trying to get it back to bare metal and we're going to be putting a rust treatment is what it's called basically it turns, turns all the rust black and then we're going to be putting like a zinc prime on it and then we we'll might even put a top coat on it or we'll put the grey on it then at least so so it's the morning of our painting party it's quite, it's quite a hive of activity already and we've got our awning set up our brewing gear is the most important to you everyone's now Starting to use grinders and stuff like that. We've had a bit of a safety briefing. Uh, it's all good, going well. Uh, I think I'll send the drone up so you can see what it looks like at the moment. I know we've actually done a bit of the front last night, so and then we'll um, have a look before we paint.
two very, very good helpers on the boat today. far we found one really well two really bad bits on the exhaust that are going to need welding so we've got this bit at the top and then the same at the bottom lee is like a little trooper down here yeah. <laughs> how are you finding it oh it's a little bit uncomfortable but you know it doesn't look like the best position to sit in oh about the best i think <laughs> so at the minute Lee's doing the underneath of the exhaust, it's not the uh, the best job, but he took it on like a trooper, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go, yeah. Absolutely. So I want to get all this, because this wasn't touched on the first time either, so I started stripping it yesterday. So I'll carry on, I'll get I'll get I'll get some waterproofs on with you and get on my back. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Cheers. This is Simon's very, very old school friend, aren't you? Old in the word. <laughs> Where were you born? 79. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> These grinders a bit lighter. <laughs> yeah. Poor Dave's a bit hungover this morning. Oh yeah, you? yeah, just a bit, yeah. Just fragile. Yeah, we're a bit fragile today, but this is doing me a world of good. Yeah, it's a bit windy. Um, we've got so many um, powered um, mains powered grinders on at the moment, so we're trying to juggle our power. Uh, a lot of it is running off the boat, but also a lot of it is running off this Eco Flow unit which has been absolutely fantastic. I spent all day yesterday using it and it didn't run out of power, just off one charge with the grinder and I had it going all day. So that has been an absolute godsend to us today. Should we go and have a look at it? So we're running most of our stuff today off this EcoFlow system which is absolutely fantastic and it has helped us so much because we've got so many um, powered grinders running. So it's got, comes with a 400 watt setup of solar which plugs directly into it. And it's great because it shows you how much you're doing. So it's not that sunny at the moment and we're making, it's doing 246 watts of solar, which isn't too bad. And it charges really fast, but also you can charge this it's just like a fast charge in your house so if you did want to like take it somewhere it literally charges up within an hour which is great i spent all last weekend at home testing this uh, and i managed to boil the kettle 21 times which was fantastic so without this we would have really really struggled with power today because for the amount that we're consuming we're draining the batteries on the boat so much so this is helping us carry on, which is really, really good. There's a link in the description if you want to go and check these out. 
Um, they are so handy, you know, whether you're doing boat work off grid or whether you're camping or as an additional backup generator for your house if you lose power. So I'll drop a link in the description. Um, I love it as well because you can then um, you get an app on your phone and you can control it remotely from your phone. So if we wanted to leave us on the boat to switch something off and on, say maybe a bilge pump, we can do it manually on our phone, which is fantastic. Child labouring at the moment. <laughs> Doing a good job, Pad. Hiya. I forgot about this bit. So did I. So I was buzzing when I was like, where's Robo gone? And I found him round on the starboard side. Couldn't have you leaving it with big like white bits. I'm so happy. I'm gonna be so happy when all that side's done because this is the nice side, isn't it? Yeah. Surrender reveals a white bit. Absolutely. <laughs> it makes a change from Gemma. <laughs> cool. But there's plenty of people doing loads of good work over on the other side, isn't there? So yeah. they're cracking on well, so I thought we'd just get this bit done. Yes. Can't wait to get that bit painted. Yeah. This side's looking really good. What are they, Jim? So we've still got to remove these copper nails because when we've replaced the frames, remember we didn't do the copper nails at the top because we had the plywood over the windows. So a lot of these nails that are sticking out actually need coming all the way out and replacing them with new ones. So that is why they're sticking out. So me and Simon have got a job to do of like making sure on this side we've done all the copper nails and rows because there is some that we've missed and obviously some that we couldn't do because of bits like the plywood. So that's gonna be a day of going round and, and making sure everything's fastened into place. The last bit of white on the starboard side of the hull, I can't wait till this is all grey again. We're going to be putting a, a rust treatment onto the exhaust. I know the exhaust has got a hole in one place, but when we're next to a, a plug and a welder, we will weld it up. Um, oh, yeah. So we did a quick test earlier um, with this rust stuff from from Worth. Um, so that's all gone black there. Obviously, here's our hole. But the actual rest of the exhaust is really, really solid, apart from one mole, one mole, very small hole underneath. So, we're gonna go along now, put the rust treatment on, we've read the instructions, so we'll put that on, and then we need to let it dry then. Paint, paint, paint. <laughs>
to have fun. British weather. Rain Just stops play. Starts raining, so we're all hunkered down onto the gazebo at the moment. Um, just waiting for it to pass. Oh, it's the, no, it's Shouldn't the... have rained today. So we will take advantage of the rain, have a little brew break, everyone have a little rest and crack on. Hopefully everything will dry off. It's quite windy, so once the rain stops, everything should dry a bit, but <laughs> it's not fun. The kids are having a ball though. We need to like, get down onto the exhaust and it's all wet and muddy now, so I've already given my waterproofs away. So we're compromising, aren't we? God, now see Who wore it better? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, got a bigger size, it's a size smaller. <laughs> 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 boom bag? Got a boom bag, um, Poncho? Sorry, but I'm not getting one. <laughs> Here you go. Bye-bye. Don't do it, will you? Oh, I'm not going to have a big ball. <laughs> Why have you not got a big ball tonight, Al? Yeah? You've got it up the wrong way. Going back to front, my way. Moving slow. <laughs> she had a terrible accident. Got a nappy on. We've definitely got the hardest worker award there, first one. Fuck him. <laughs> Get a coat of varnish on it. Yeah. <laughs> How are we weird in there? We're getting there. Just getting there, exposing the little line here. Cool. Happy days. So I will start getting ready for my frog tape. <laughs> Alrighty. We had a late arrival to the Peyton party. Uh, we got Richard who's come all the way from Swansea. It's amazing how many, how far people have travelled from. Lee's come from Devon. So we're on the final little bit to press now and then we're gonna give it all a good wipe down. Put me line in for the frog teeth. And then we can start painting. Dave, tell me what's going on. What's going on? It's raining. Uh, we're not going to put any paint on because it'll all slide off. <laughs> Again. 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 <laughs> Simon, Simon last time put it on inside out, so... That's why we have to take it off So we have again. to take it off again and put it around the right, the right way. Yeah. But that's what it is, the weather. Today so. it's, it's uh, absolutely, yeah, persisting down. Yeah. So unfortunately we're going to have to come back at some point and put yes. the paint on but it would have been so nice to be able to put the paint on with all these guys there. <laughs> so the, the rain keeps coming off the awning and getting people to be like. Yeah. So literally we just finished all the prep work hadn't we? I had done my little frog tape line on the water line, ready to get the, we got the rollers out and it just, the heavens open. So it's five o'clock now um, and the rain doesn't look like it's clearing so unfortunately all the guys who've come to paint my boat can't. What can we do? I'm going to keep them all here because hopefully tomorrow it should be dry. 
See that puzzle there? That puddle is because of the drains off the roof. So it just goes to show all that water would have been down on the decks in the boat if we wouldn't have the drain holes. We're good. So, obviously, even if it stopped raining now, we couldn't paint if we wanted to because the hull is soaked and obviously can't put paint on a wet hull. So even if the rain stopped now, we wouldn't be painting. So. It's ready, it's prepped, we just need, the sun's come out, it needs to dry. It's just so sad that everyone who has come to paint the boat hasn't been able to paint the boat. Looks like we're going to come back during the week once it's, uh, once the weather's improved, once the boat's dry and get it painted, which I can't wait. Do you know what I'm really impressed about? Like how well, obviously it's come up really well. There's a few little patches on the boat that we've noticed that will need a repair. Um, when the time comes, something that doesn't really need to be done right this second. Uh, looks really good though. And to be honest, I can't get any closer to the front at the minute because like these pallets are really, really slippy. <laughs> well, the thing I'm impressed about the most is the exhaust. They're just so smooth. <laughs> Proper smooth. I can't believe this rain though. But look at the exhaust, they look fab. Obviously a few little welding spots to do at the back, but the rest of them are really solid. Hello. Gemma, can we go now? We can. Thank you all so much for coming. Anyone got any feedback? Feedback. Feedback. Oh, sorry. We have a volunteer. It's bloody fucking raining on flat. I know, yeah. It's what? Buy a boat in a, in a foreign country that's warmer. Warm rain. <laughs> we should have done, yeah. Yeah, we should have, shouldn't we? It's, it's been wet now. Would we'll you just come back again or have we traumatised you for life? No, 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 we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll have Stockholm six syndrome. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 You, you have all, syndrome. Uh, all been absolutely fabulous. Um, we have lost a couple of people because it is late. Um, so Matt and Fowler and the kids have gone home and also Alan's gone home. But... Everyone who's came has been absolutely amazing. These have all worked so, so, so hard. Like, I'm impressed. This one hasn't. Where have you been? Tied it up. Tied in the boat. <laughs> so, it's about six o'clock. We're all tidied up. Everyone is soaked to the bone. And then the sun comes up. Literally. Oh, is it a two tone t shirt? <laughs> so, I think we better let them get home and have a shower. Um, thank you all so so much um, and if anyone does want to come back during the week when we are actually painting it when it improves you are more than welcome drop us a message put it on Facebook yeah midweek painting party <laughs> 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 to be all part of the paint on will take like five minutes yeah. only it's just a shame that some people aren't there who's put all the effort in I know there. I know we've had literally people have come from miles miles away like Devon Kent Neston. <laughs> <laughs> Parkgate. Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool. Swindon. Swansea. You know, it, it blows my mind that people have come from so far away. So, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Yay. We'll be back tomorrow to finish the paint. Thank you. <laughs> That's that it, honey. That's all we we'll have. Thank you very much, Chip Athens. See you soon.
If you see what we can see, then eventuates for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, 'cause it's high time we can lose. Come and drink. You're on board. I'll let the love we share take hold of you as we move a little more. Come along, come along, 'cause it's high tide and we can't lose. Come and drift away with us. You dream.